Hi everyone, Knoopsy here. Very quickly, the iPad Pro has become one of my favorite pieces of technology ever. I use it from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. Throughout my entire day, I'm using the iPad. So in this video, I'll be taking you through a day in the life featuring the iPad Pro and how I use it as a student and content creator. But first, I want to thank our sponsor, Paperlike. If you want your Apple Pencil to feel more natural when writing or drawing, check out Paperlike for the iPad at the link in the description. I usually wake up at around 6 a.m. every day to the sound of my alarm. Once I'm up, I'll get my cold brew coffee out of the fridge, press down the French press, and pour. I'll also throw on some music or YouTube video to keep me moving. I'll try to respond to as many emails and YouTube comments as possible, as well as have a look through Twitter and Instagram. I also wanted to get the thumbnail photo for this video planned and shot this morning. So I drew up a quick sketch in Procreate of the concept I had in mind. Basically, a flat lay featuring various objects part of my daily life. Then composed and shot the photo with my DSLR. I'll use a USB-C to SD card adapter to transfer the photos from the SD card to my iPad. I'll deal with those later. Okay, so the shoot took longer than expected, and now, I'm running late. Gotta get ready. And most importantly, choose the fit for the day. That's the one. There are two ways for me to get to school. Boosted board. Or public transit, the TTC. I chose that today. My trip to school gives me just enough time to whip out the iPad, connect my hotspot, and finish up any last minute work before class. Usually reviewing a presentation, finalizing a paper, or writing lines of copy. And it's probably worth mentioning I'm an advertising and design student at an art school. No calculus here. Gotta also make sure all the doors are locked at home and the lights are off, so I'll check the Apple Home app. And all good. Before I get off, I update my Reminders app with any things I have to get done throughout the day. And the one list widget on my home screen reflects the Reminders app and makes it easy to check things off. <sighs> okay, now I can relax. Once I get to class, I take out the iPad to write down notes from the lecture. I use Notability, and even though my notes are pretty messy, I remember things better handwritten, and I can also write a little bit faster than I can type as well. Notability also lets me record audio in the app as well, and that audio syncs up to when things are actually written. So it's very easy to reference parts of a lecture compared to when your notes were actually taken. And for certain things that are written on the board or shown on the projector, I can quickly take a picture with the rear camera and even zoom in because the iPad's camera quality is surprisingly great. Then I can drag and drop the photo into my notes app and scribble down anything next to the photo or over top of the photo. It is great for making study guides. And most school days tend to go just like that. Some days classes last a few hours, while other days they last till the late hours of the night. Although, on the shorter days, I like to leave school early, so I'll pack up my stuff and head to a coffee shop in the city to do work. After I grab coffee, I bust out the iPad and get started on my long list of things that have to get done, both YouTube work and school work. Depending on what has to get done, I usually take out a mouse as well. This one is from Logitech, it's called the Pebble I believe, and it's quiet and very precise. Because I finished shooting those photos for the thumbnail this morning, I'll finish the editing process on the iPad. The process starts out with Lightroom, where I'll import the photos, tweak saturation, contrast, brightness, color temperature, curves, and other smaller tweaks to really refine the image. Then, to actually finish the thumbnail edit, I'll import the photo into Affinity Photo for larger adjustments. 
I can add overlays, change background colors, cut out or mask certain objects, and make the final tweaks to the thumbnail to hit the exact vision I had in mind. Affinity Photo is quite powerful. Once I've finished up my YouTube work, I'll usually get some schoolwork done as well at the coffee shop. It tends to often be finishing up presentations or write-ups or mostly during thesis doing lots of ideating and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing, just lots of rough sketches. These sketches are all done in Procreate, but for brainstorming I use Notability once again. Procreate is more so for artwork, while Notability is better for getting down ideas and just planning. I'll usually hang out at a coffee shop for around 2-3 hours and get as much done as possible. I find that I can work better away from home or school and be inspired by the environment. Once I get home, I take out the iPad and usually put on some music or Netflix or YouTube as I unpack my bag and get ready to start cooking dinner. I throw a recipe onto the iPad in split screen for what I'm going to be cooking, and in this case, it's pizza night. After cleaning up dishes, the night is usually pretty chill once everything is clean. I'll catch up on some videos or play some games and just relax. Except when something is due the next day, then it's not so chill. When I know that I have a long work session ahead, I'll plug the iPad into a monitor and connect a mouse or trackpad, just so I can see exactly what I'm doing. If it's a research project or essay, the app Shift Screen comes in handy. It lets me have three web pages open on the monitor and two apps open on the actual iPad. And it actually goes full screen on your monitor as well, so it takes full advantage of all your space. It is really great for productivity. When I'm finally ready to go to sleep, the battery on the iPad is usually around 20 or 30%. The battery life does range, but this was a pretty mid to busy day. I'll plug it in, set the alarm for the next day, and head to sleep. So from this video, you've hopefully seen how the iPad Pro has become such an essential tool part of my daily life. A device that can do just so much and in a form factor that is just so portable. It's an absolutely incredible piece of technology. This video was sponsored by Paperlike with their new Paperlike 2, a special screen protector for your iPad that gives you more control with your Apple Pencil when you're writing or drawing. It adds a little bit of grip and texture to your display just like a real piece of paper and gives you a much more realistic and natural feel. It is very easy to install and also reduces the glare and fingerprints on your iPad's display. It's available for all iPad models with free shipping and 100% satisfaction guarantee. Hit the link in the description to check out Paperlike for yourself. So that's my day in the life and how I use the 2020 iPad Pro. And I want to hear your thoughts on the iPad Pro in the comments down below. Do you have an iPad? Do you plan to buy one? Do you really want one? What do you do on your iPad? Tell me in the comments, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more iPad Pro content. And thank you for watching.